Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to have a great cruise. You need to take your sea pass basically everywhere you go. If you have kids that might lose them, take them to guest services and have a hole punched in their sea pass and bring along a lanyard that you can clip on and they can wear it around their neck. Anyway, they do have hair dryers in the room. Cell service is really expensive on the boat, so put your phones in airplane mode and invest in a set of walkie-talkie. If you need to quickly check your email, there is a pay-by-the-minute internet cafe. If there's one thing you should do to prepare for a cruise, that's practice going up and down steps. There are elevators, but if you don't want to spend your entire cruise waiting for them, you're better off to learn how to take the steps. There are anywhere from 12 to 15 floors, so you can really wear yourself out if you're not prepared. When you're done unpacking, shove your empty suitcases under the bed to save space. The water in the bathroom never gets very cold, so you can ask your room attendant to bring ice every night. There is a mini bar in the room, and you'll pay quite a bit for all the things you use out of there, but there is extra space you can put your own stuff in. A well-kept secret is breakfast room service. Just fill out one of these at night and hang it on your door handle, and in the morning you'll have this. Your room is made up twice a day, and don't be surprised if you find a towel animal on your bed at night. The bathroom is extremely small. You can plug in your shaver right here. This is a cabinet. There's a clothesline in the shower for hanging your wet swimsuits. Once your bathing suit is done drip drying in the shower, hang it out here on this vent, which is constantly blowing air to dry it the rest of the way. One big problem you have in this small bathroom is steaming up the mirror. To avoid that, simply take your towel, which is on this shelf here, and push it up over the edge of the shower. When you're done showering, reach up and grab it and keep the shower door closed. And then when you're completely dry, quickly open the door, get out and close it back real fast. The steam actually gets vented right by this vent in here. And so long as you don't let very much out, the mirror will stay nice and clear. Come and get as many towels as you need at the towel exchange. Three, please. Most of the time you'll be eating breakfast and lunch in the Windjammer. But there are a couple 24-hour places to eat. You can get coffee and pastries in the Cafe Promenade. Johnny Rockets or Pizza at Sorrento's. Frozen yogurt is available all afternoon. You can either make a cone. Most people don't seem to realize this, but the proper way to make an ice cream cone is to press the ice cream down into the cone as you go. Don't let it fall in. Or put some coffee in a cup and make a Jamocha shake. There's an extra fee for these, but you can go to Ben and Jerry's or the Cupcake Cupboard. For dinner, you'll be in the dining room, which is nothing short of magnificent. On the final morning, make sure you get down to the wind jammer before 8.30 or you'll run into this. Generally speaking, the food and sports are in the back of the ship, pools, shopping and bars are in the middle, and the shows are up here in the front. If you get lost, which happens frequently, walk up to one of these things and just touch. Here's a quick look around the Royal Promenade. There are tons of cool bars with live music on the ship. If you're into gambling, there's a ton of that down here in the casino. I can't think why on earth you'd want to work out on a cruise, but if you did, it's all here in the gym. They even have yoga classes. It is pretty expensive, but you do have a complete spa on board as well. There's the solarium pool for adults only. Tons of whirlpools, family pools, and a big kitty splash pool area. Here's a quick look across the ship on deck 12. There is a full arcade and game room for the kids and the young adults. A putt-putt golf course. There's a basketball court, volleyball court, and rock climbing wall. There's free babysitting all day in the nursery. And a similar babysitting place for three to five year olds. A living room for the teens and preteens to hang out. If you'd like to relax with a good book, there's plenty available in the library. There's a smaller venue with a stage, as well as a gigantic main theater. 
There are amazing ice shows in Studio B. And my favorite part of the ship, of course, is the Flow Rider. All right. In case you were wondering how big this ship is, it's uh, big.